Ha, kwa friji lake akulishusha mwanzo mwisho hakuna hata siku moja ameza kusaidiwa friji yake ameibeba mwenyewe how do you feel tired <laughs> very, very tired Si hapa kutokea kwenye geti hili la mwika lopo mkwani Kilimanjaro mapo leo hii ni furaha kwa raia nchi ya uingereza ambaye anafamika kwa jina la Michael Copeland ambaye tuliripoti taarifa zake za yeye kuanza safari ya kupanda mlima Kilimanjaro na alitueleza kwamba atatumia siku nane kupanda mlima na lengo lake alikuwa anasema kwamba ni kuhusiana na a, kutoa msisitizo hasa kwa wanaume wale ambao wamekuwa kipitia matatizo mbalimbali mbali, kupaza sauti zao na kuweza kusikilizwa ili kuweza kuepukana na majanga mbalimbali mbali, kiwemo wanaume kujiua sasa leo ndo siku ambayo rasmi amefika hapa chini ah, poa kabisa kwanza hongereni sana e, watu wengi walikuwa nafikiri je takwaje friji lake tupe tathmini kwanza tangu siku mlivoondoka hadi hii leo mmefika ah, kiufupi leo ndio ile siku ya mwisho ambayo tulisema tutakamilisha kwa majina uh, naitwa Bryson uh, ni mwongozo wa watalii katika hifadhi ya mlima Kilimanjaro na ndio na panda na kampuni ya Santi Tours na tulikuwa na mgeni hapa kutoka nchini Uingereza anaitwa Michael Copland. Tulianza safari yetu geti la Lemosho na leo ndo siku ya nane tunalimalizia katika ile geti la Mweka ambapo ndo siku ya nane na saizi ni majira ya karibia saa nne kasoro tunakaribia kuingia hapa getini. Na safari yetu ilikuwa ni nzuri na ilikuwa na furaha na shangwe kwa sababu lengo kuu na ujumbe mkuu ameweza kukamilisha na kufikisha. Kwa hiyo leo tuko naye hapa na amefika hapa getini kwa furaha na amani kwa sababu tumeenda tukiwa na nguvu na tumerudi pia tukiwa na nguvu. Wakati gani ulikuwa mgumu sana kwake? Ah kiufupi kwa jinsi amejiandaa. Siwezi kusema na kwa jinsi nimemwona pale juu siwezi kusema kulikuwa na wakati mgumu sana ila ni ile siku tu ya summit ambapo tulikuwa tukienda summit kidogo uh, alifika mahali na ile hali ya hewa tuliyokutana nayo pale juu kidogo ya kama mvua lakini sio mvua ni kichele cha barafu uh, kidogo akawa anasema uh, anaisi baridi kidogo na kichwa kidogo kwa mbali kama maumivu lakini alikuwa na nguvu za kutosha amefika salama uhuru na muda mzuri wa kutosha ha, kwa friji lake akulishusha mwanzo mwisho hakuna hata siku moja ameza kusaidiwa friji yake ameibeba mwenyewe ha, mwanzo kweli tulianza lilikuwa na vitu lakini vitu venyewe so vyakula vya yeye kula siku zote nane ni vile vi snacks vidogo ambavyo vyakula siku hiyo ya kwanza na maji na nguo za mvua lakini vyakula vingine vilibebwa na raia ambao ni wafanya kazi wa potters wanaofanya kazi mlimani. Ah kiukweli naweza kusema hivyo kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye nimepanda naye na ameweka historia au rekodi ya kwake mwenyewe uh, na rekodi pia kwenye hifadhi yetu ya Mlima Kilimanjaro kupanda na friji mwanzo mwisho na kulingana na wageni tunaopanda nao mara nyingi wanakuja hapa na matarajio yao sa nyingine vile vi, matarajio yao yanashindikana kulingana labda na maandalizi walioandaa nayo huko nyumbani lakini kwa huyu bwana kulingana na alivyosema miaka miwili amejiandaa nimeamini kweli ni miaka miwili amejiandaa kwa sababu kubeba umzigo mpaka top ya Kilimanjaro sio kitu kirahisi sana na ni kweli amefanikisha hilo lengo aliniambia nakumbuka wakati tukifanya briefing ya mwisho kwenda summit aliniambia kuliko nisaidiwe nitatembea hata na mikono mpaka nifike lakini hakisha lengo langu limefika. Yeah. Ha hilo swala nimemuuliza leo asubuhi anasema hana uhakika lakini anahisi amepungua kidogo kwa sababu unajua amebadilisha mazingira. Na anakula vizuri tena anasema anakula zaidi ya nyumbani na appetite yake kweli ilikuwa inasoma vizuri mlimani. Lakini kupungua uzito mlimani unakujaga natural kulingana na unabadilisha mazingira, malazi pia. Unaisi kuna siku nyingine unaisi uwezi kulala vizuri alafu na ule 
matembezi tunaotembea kila siku hizo kilometer mwili lazima ukate na chiro how do you feel tired <laughs> very, very tired amazing it was an amazing experience um more so by the people who helped me get there these guys are amazing um they all looked after me um nu my chef lots of lots of chicken <laughs> prosper obviously uh, helped me a lot and jeremiah we taught him some new press ups and obviously my man uh the main man bryson uh, leading the way so yeah it was um a great team i felt like i had uh, some new african brothers okay according to your experience on climbing mountains did you uh, think kilimanjaro was uh, tough um it it wasn't anything in terms of physical ability that i haven't done before in terms of climbing and walking and hiking but the tough part was definitely when i got to around three and a half four thousand meters the breath the breathing um and you know the tightness in the head was definitely a factor but um but yeah it was uh, it was tough as soon as we got into the high altitude I'd love to come and do it again. I'd love to bring a group of people with me yeah, um, and do it as a group for charity or something like that. Yeah, it'd be amazing to come back and uh, do it again with the same people. Okay, uh, maybe after climbing uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, is there, um, is there any national park in Tanzania you wanted to visit again? To visit? Um, I, w I visited Kenya 21 years ago, so... Um, I'd love to go back to Kenya again and do something in Kenya, um, but yeah, probably Kenya. Okay, um, what do you tell Tanzania people on your message? Um, my message is, um, you know, if you are struggling and you are carrying weight on your shoulders, um, don't be ashamed to speak to someone for help. Um, it doesn't make you any less of a person, especially as a man. It doesn't make you any less of a man. Um, if you've got troubles, then speak up because at the end of the day, we're all human and um, we all have a breaking point. So, yeah, don't be afraid. You're not weak if you speak. Okay, the message you sent during climbing the, with the fridge, do you think has reached millions of people? I hope so. Uh, I think it has. <laughs> but um, we'll see. I don't know. Um, the idea was to raise awareness and, and get it out there to as, as many people as possible and hopefully, you know, we'll achieve that. This is my taking back. Um, don't climb it with a fridge, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> if, if you're going to come and if you're going to, if you're going to climb Kilimanjaro, don't do it with a fridge on your back because it is stupid. But it is, you know, it's an important message and, um, no, I would recommend to anyone come and climb Tanzania. If you want a challenge, that last summit day, the day before summit day and, and summit day is actually a real, real good challenge. So, yeah, if you want to see a beautiful country and spend some time with amazing people and uh, challenge yourself, then I'd definitely recommend it. Oh, yeah, it's like, I think, I'll be telling my grandkids, it's like, you know what I mean? It's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, definitely up there with uh, some of my best memories. Kwa kweli kwanza mimi kama director Santa Tours nimefurahi sana uh, huyu mgeni wetu kufika kileleni na ujumbe wake aliokuwa anataka ufike katika communities all over in the world. Kweli utakuwa umefika kwa ku achieve such a uh, uh, such a big mountain like this na alifika muda mrefu muda muda muafaka asubuhi ilipendeza sana well done good job uh, very good thank you mpuni yako ah uh, asante sana kwa kweli kwa experience yangu mimi kama director and mimi kama mountain guide at the same time uh, tumefanya hii kazi kwa muda wa miaka zaidi ya miaka 20 kwa sasa na experience ni kubwa sana kwetu Duniani, Tanzania, East Africa, wote record yetu ni kubwa ni nzuri ambayo inafanya watu wanaotaka kufanya challenge on the mountain wafike kwetu. Kwa maana hiyo, kwa kweli mimi nashukuru sana Royal Tourism ambayo mama ndio alioifanya ikawa ikatokea. Sasa hivi ukipress two button kwamba unatafuta wageni kutoka Marekani 
kutoka Uingereza au Ujerumani ni dakika moja ku, ku, wao kukuelewa kutokana na royal tourism. Asante sana mama Samia Sulu Hassan. Eh, nafahamika kama muhifadhi Henry Stefano niko hifadhi ya taifa Kilimanjaro. Ah, kwa kweli tuna kwa changamoto walioleta challenge hii ni kubwa sana na inahamasisha utalii. Of course zimeshafanyika challenge nyingi katika hifadhi ya taifa Kilimanjaro. Watu wanaenda kucheza mpira, watu wanakimbia, lakini kwa namna hii ni ya kwanza. Kwa hiyo tunamshukuru sana na ni, ni anahamasisha watu wengine na tuna pia tuna Tunapenda kwa masisha watu wengine waje wafanye changamoto kama hizi ambazo zita. Kwa majini anaitua Daniel James ni product manager kutoka St. Tours. Uh, kama tuivyongea kipindi tunampandisha Le Mosho Root. Uh, alikuwa napanda siku nane mlima Kimanjaro. Lakini pia leo tashina tano. Tunashukuru mungu amerudi salama na ameza kusamiti jana vizuri sana. Na guides wanatuambia alikuwa na nguvu sana kule mlima. Kiasi kwamba si tukao tunahofia labda atapata ata, ata changamoto na nini kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mzigo mkubwa na nini. Lakini alikuwa na ile passion yake ya kutaka kutengeneza uh, awareness kubwa kwa watu ambao wana changamoto ya uh, mental na nini uh, sasa kwa wanaume. So ime, ime, ime push kweli kwa kisha na kuwa na nguvu lakini pia uh, tulikuwa na timu nzuri sana mlimani. Uh, Magaidzi wazuri, potters wazuri, chakula kikuwa kizuri, ikamupa nguvu sana ya kuweza kusamiti vizuri sana.